Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little bow baby booties. Well, more shoes. <laughs> I'm just using I'm using two colors uh, I'm gonna do a blue and a cream we're just gonna make the other shoe so both shoes are the exact same pattern so there's not no difference for left or right and this is a DK light worsted weight yarn so that's a yarn weight of three you could probably use a worsted weight yarn as well and iron weights as well it'll make it just very slightly bigger um, now this pattern is quite fiddly so because we've got this lovely textured pattern around the top which is also used for the bow as well but you can swap all these stitches for just normal double crochets so this pattern's in US terminology so that's trebles in UK terminology um, but I'll explain as we go but we're going to start off with the base first so use your base color first in this case I've done cream and with this pattern I'm using a four millimeter G crochet hook and it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well for sewing in those ends okay so let's begin so we're going to start off with our cream color and sorry it's been a while since I've released a video I've actually been traveling quite a lot lately so I just got back from France so I do apologize but hopefully you follow me on Instagram for all my little updates and where I am what I'm doing so link up there but we're going to start off with our sole color the base color and uh, we're going to chain 11 so this pattern's for 0 to 6 months so this measures 10 centimeters uh, in length up to 10 centimeters so we're going to chain 11 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and sorry for the state of my hands i just noticed on camera they look even worse um i've just been doing loads of gardening and i think i've got like slight irritation from all the plants the sap of the plants so i do apologize um, but we chain 11 and then in the second chain from our hook so we don't count the loop on our hook there's our first chain there's our second in there we're going to do three double crochets so in UK terminology that's going to be a treble so we're going to yarn over go into that second chain from our hook and do three double crochet pull through two pull through two yarn over get back into the same stitch another double crochet and do one more then what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in the next four chains so I'm going to go into the next chain now as you may notice here when I work into the chains I'm just going under one loop only and this is the way I like to work into my chains because it makes it easier to see the chains when we need to work into them again so, so we're going to work back into them in the opposite direction so one double crochet in the next chain one double one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain and one double crochet in the next chain so we do one double crochet in the next four chains okay then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four chains so in UK terminology that's going to be a half a treble so yarn over into the next chain do a half double crochets pull through all three half double crochet in the next chain half double crochet in the next chain and a half double crochet in the next chain if this is a little bit too fast for you then I do recommend checking out my beginner tutorials get used to these stitches and then come back to these types of videos uh, that should leave you with one chain at the end and in there we're going to do six half double crochets so in that last chain we're going to do six half double crochets one, two, three, four, five, 
five and six. So six half double crochets. Don't lose that last stitch. There we go. And as you can see, it starts to move your project round in a clockwise direction, which is great because we're going to work back into these chains, like I said, in the opposite direction. So that's why we only work under one loop, because then it makes our chains really easy to see when we go back. So we're going to mirror image that. We're going to do one half double crochet in the next four chains. So to find your next chain, obviously that was going to look quite big, so it's just here. We're going to put our hook into there. And do a half a double crochet, half double crochet in the next chain, so it's just there, two, half double crochet in the next chain, so it's just there, three, and a half double crochet in the next chain, four. Then we go back to our double crochets, so we do one double crochet in the next four chains. So that's our next chain. Do a double crochet. Double crochet in the next chain. Two. Double crochet in the next chain. Three. And a double crochet in the next chain. Four. And you should have one chain left. If you open these up a bit, because these tend to fold over, you should see one chain. Should look a little bit bigger than the other ones. In that very last chain, we're going to do three double crochet. Okay, three double crochet in there. One, two, and three. So it should end up a mirror image of the first side. Okay, and you should end up with six at the end, just like you do down here. So then we're going to find our first double crochet that we made. So it's going to be this nice big stitch here. And if you can't see, it's a good idea just to move your stitches over. So you can see that first stitch. We're going to slip stitch into there. Okay, so that's the end of our first round. By the end of that round, you should have 28 stitches from the first row and your second row. Okay, 28 stitches. So let's move on to round two. We're going to start off with a little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. And then in the very first stitch, it's the same one that you slip stitched into, we're going to do one double crochet. So go back into there and do a double crochet. Okay. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch, we do two double crochet. One and two. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet as well. So two in there. One and two. Then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, one double crochet in the next four. So that's one. Next stitch. Two, next stitch, three, and next stitch, four. Okay, then we're going to go back to our half double crochets. So we're going to do one half double crochet in the next five stitches. So a half double crochet in the next stitch, one, next stitch, two. Three, four, and five. So one half double crochet in the next five. Then we're going to do two half double crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch, we do two half double crochets in the same stitch. Let's go back in there. Okay, so two half double crochets in there. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch as well. And two. Okay, so we've got two in there as well. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch, just the one. And then we repeat 
the stitches. So we mirror the stitches. So we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. So you've got two in there. And then two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Two in there. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next five. So just like this side. So where's our next stitch? There. So half double crochet in there. One. Next stitch. Two. Next stitch three. Next stitch four. Next stitch five. So one half double crochet in the next five. And I'll write this pattern up as well and put it on my website, happyberry.co.uk, if you want to get the written version. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four. So back to double crochets. Do that in the next four. So one, next stitch. Two, next stitch three, and next stitch four. That should leave you with a couple of stitches. And we're going to do two double crochet in the last two stitches. So next stitch, two double crochet in there, one and two. And then two double crochet in the last stitch. One and two. And that there is not a stitch, that's a little fake stitch as I call it. It's um, basically that's just your slip stitch when you slip stitch over. So that counts as your first stitch. So ignore that. And we're going to slip stitch into our first double crochet. So ignore the fake stitch, ignore the chain one, find the first proper stitch, nice and easy, and slip stitch into there. Okay, so that's the end of round two, and um, by the end of that round you should have 36 stitches. Okay, and if you want to make this for bigger sizes, um, you could probably get away with using a thicker yarn or a bigger hook to make slightly bigger sizes. Um, however, um, for much older sizes, such as like a four-year-old, eight-year-old, um, will require completely different patterns, so you probably can't adjust this pattern for that age group. Um, but we're going to move on to round three and we'll start off with a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch. And do one half double crochet in the same stitch you slip stitched into, so half double crochets now for this whole round. Then half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. Then we're going to do two half double crochets in the next three stitches. Okay, so two half double crochet in the next stitch. So this round just uses half double crochets. Okay, two half double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Then two half double crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Okay. Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next ten stitches. Okay, in the next ten. So it's one, two, next stitch, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten. Okay, so one half double crochet in the next ten. And then we're going to do two half double crochet in the next three stitches. So two in the next stitch. One and two. So it's two in there. Two in the next stitch. So these are all half double crochets. Okay. Two in there. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Okay. 
Then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next two stitches. So half double crochet in the next stitch, just the one, just one, and a half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. Then we're going to repeat that in mirror the first row. And we're going to do two half double crochets in the next three stitches. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. Two in there, two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, each and yeet. <laughs> two in the next stitch, un and deux. And now we're going to do one half double crochet in the next one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches so what language should I say this in let's try it in Japanese shall we so next stitch itch ni san yon go uh, Nana Hachi <laughs> Cute Jiu I hope that's correct <laughs> I just get bored counting in English uh, Then we should have three stitches left and we are going to do two half double crochets in the last three. So two in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. And two in the next stitch. I'll just start learning to count in different languages just to mix it up. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what language you want me to try. That'd be funny. And uh, then we're going to, that's a little fake stitch. Let's skip that, skip our chain one, find your first proper half double crochet, and we're gonna slip stitch into there. There we go, that's the end of round three, and that's the finished sole. So by the end of that round you should have 48 stitches and then we're going to move on to the actual top part of the shoe next. So let's get our blue colour and I'm going to I'm going to cut this because we've finished with our cream, get that out of the way, bring in our next colour and now this is where it starts to get a little bit fiddly because we're going to do some front post stitches. So just follow carefully as best as you can. First thing to do though is we're going to get our blue, our next colour, and we're just going to do a little chain one. Bring that through our yellow, our creamy colour, and pull your tail ends nice and tight. Now we're working with our blue. We're going to start off with one front post stitch. Now these are, what did I do these in? I've just written front post stitches, but I did them as... Okay, so I did them as half double crochets. So these are half double crochet front post stitches. Um, so what we're gonna do first though, don't panic if you're new to this, we're gonna yarn over and we're just gonna put our hook into the same stitch we just slip stitched into. Put our hook into there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through the next stitch as well. So coming from the back, I'm just gonna pop it through the next stitch and it should catch this little vertical bar of yarn. Then we're gonna grab our yarn and bring that underneath the vertical bar. Okay, then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three to do a half double crochet. And that is a half double crochet front post stitch. That's nice and easy, it's not too hard. I'm gonna do that in the first three. So the next one, we go in the stitch we just came out. So see where your blue is coming from and just go into that stitch. That's the one we came out of last time. So we go into that stitch and then we're gonna come through the next stitch from the back. Catch that little bar, bring the yarn through, the yarn over, pull through all three. So our second one. 
third one again there's the blue follow the blue down and go into that stitch get over to the next stitch catch that little bar bring the yarn under yarn over pull through all three okay so we've done three half double crochet front post stitches first three now we're going to do two half double crochet front post stitches uh, around the next stitch so again find where the blue is and go into that stitch there come out for the next stitch so it's same as before bring the yarn under do a half double crochet but we're going to do two around the same one so yarn over then just catch that bar again same bar bring the yarn round do your half double crochet so you've got two in there okay two and we're going to do that um we're going to do that again in the pattern so don't worry then we're going to do one front post stitch half double crochet front post stitch around the next two stitches so see where your blue is coming from go into there out for the next stitch and do front post stitch and we're going to do that just the once so move over to the next stitch go into that stitch out for the next do your front post stitch okay so you've done one half double crochet front post stitch over the next two then we're going to do two front post stitches again okay so another increase so all we do is find where the blue is leading to and go into that stitch and go out of the next stitch bring the yarn under do your half double crochet then yarn over see that little post there that's been caught we're going to go under that again and then pull through all three okay and you've got your second one in there so we've done our increase now we're going to do one just the one front post stitch half double crochet front post stitch around the next 37 stitches it's pretty much all the way around to the other side okay around the next 37 so all we do see where the blue's coming from go into that stitch out for the next bring the yarn underneath pull through all three okay so that's one next stitch two next stitch so just see where the blue's coming from into there out for the next one three hopefully once you get a bit of practice Four, you'll get used to the rhythm and become easier. Five, six, thirty-five, thirty-six, and thirty-seven. Okay, so we've done one half double crochet front post stitch around the next 37 so basically you're over to the other side and we're going to finish up with um, an increase so we're going to do two front post stitches half double crochet front post stitches around the next stitch so again follow the blue go into the next stitch out for the next catch that bar bring the yarn under the bar the yarn over pull through all three we're going to do another one around the same post so yarn over catch that bar again and do another half double crochet okay so there's two in there then we're going to do one front post stitch around the next two so it's the next stitch out for the next so one there and next stitch one front post stitch there that should leave you with one little post left one stitch left we're going to do two front post stitches around there so into the next stitch this is where you'll have to come out through the fake stitch okay to catch that last bar so grab the yarn bring it round pull through all three yarn over and go onto that bar again to do another one so we want two in there two in there then we just finish up by slip stitching into our first front bow stitch so find the first blue stitch slip stitch into there to join the round 
Okay, and what these front post stitches do is it makes the stitches, instead of sitting on the side like that, it makes them sit up a little bit and you get more of a 90 degree angle, a bit more definition on your shoe. And doing some increases just makes it sit better. But by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 52. Okay, 52. What we're going to do now is we are going to mix it up. We're going to turn our work. So first thing we're going to do, we'll do a little chain one and no more front post stitches. So we go back to normal stitches. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and work back in the opposite direction. So just turn it upside down. And we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So keeping a stitch count of 52. So starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, so what we're going to do, you need to find this stitch that you slip stitched into, this one here, okay, this one, and turn that upside down, it's that one there, so we want to put our hook slightly backwards a bit into there, bring the alpha into a half a double crochet, that's going to be our first stitch, okay, and then we're going to work into our stitches as normal, so yarn over and go into the next stitch and just do one half double crochet nice normal half double crochet into each stitch around keeping a stitch count of 52 so next stitch three should i try now what language uh un deux trois next stitch quatre pronunciation <laughs> cinq Set. Wheat. Nerf. And this. <laughs> and just continue that round back to the beginning. So back to the beginning, uh, 49 and 50, 50, 50, 52. So we've done one half double crochet in each stitch around, just normal half double crochets back to the beginning. And we're going to find that first half double crochet that we did, this one here. We're going to slip stitch into there. Join around. Okay, so hopefully it looks a little something like this, like a little boat. And then we're going to move on to round six. Now this is where it starts to get a little bit fiddly, but you can swap these uh, fiddly stitches for just normal double crochet but I'll explain as we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a little chain one to begin. Chain one to begin, don't count that as a stitch. We're going to skip the first two stitches. So we're going to skip the same stitch we just slip stitched into, this one here, and we're going to skip the next stitch. Then we're going to double crochet the next two stitches together. So we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over pull through two but stop yarn over and go into the next stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two as well three loops yarn over pull through all three to double crochet two stitches together now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet the previous two stitches that we skipped together this is where it gets fiddly so the previous two stitches you've got one there and you've got this first one here. But the way I recommend doing this, because it's oh, quite complicated, not sure where to go, is just turn your work sideways and we're gonna work from the back instead. So we're gonna put a hook in between, in this big gap here, and just bring it down to the stitch that you want. So we want this first one here that we skipped. We're gonna put our hook into there. Just easier said than done. Oh, especially on camera, into there. Then we bring the yarn through there, so we've come from the back to the front instead, it's much easier. Bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, but stop. 
yarn over and find your next skip stitch which is here just need to push it out and then go to the back come to the front bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two three loops yarn over pull through all three now if that was um, really fiddly for you and a bit of a nightmare what you can do is just double crochet the first two stitches together and then double crochet the next two stitches together as normal okay either way you're going to end up with just two stitches okay so you can either twist them so I did the second batch first then went back to do the first decrease um, but you can just do the decrease as normal in the first two and then a decrease normal in the next two okay so we're going to do what we're going to do now we're going to do that again we're going to do that twice more so now we're going to skip the next two stitches so this stitch here has been used so make sure you don't work into that we're going to skip the next two stitches one two and we're going to double crochet the next two together so go into the next stitch and the yarn through good idea to bunch your stitches up as well so it's all nice and neat pull for the first two loops stop yarn over into the next stitch pull through two then yarn over pull through all three loops okay so you've got your skipped two stitches here now we're going to double crochet those two together so yarn over it's a bit easier now we're not at the beginning find the first skip stitch and come from the back like that bring the yarn through front to back yarn over pull through two stop yarn over push out your next skip stitch come from the back bring the yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three to do a decrease okay and start to get this pattern but if you really hate doing that that's a bit of a nightmare you can just swap it for normal decreases so we just we don't skip the first two we just double crochet those two together next stitch pull through two and then we just double crochet the next two together so you can do this instead you have a choice two pull through all three so you can just do normal decreases instead okay or you can twist them well, I'm going to twist them for this pattern so let's do that twist them so skip the first two double crochet the next two together then find the first skip stitch pull through two yarn over find my next skip stitch come from the back yarn through front to back pull through two pull for all three so I've twisted them instead and we're gonna do that one more time so we're doing this over the first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve stitches over the first twelve stitches so we can do that one more time so that stitch has been used so you can see it coming from there so we're going to skip the next two double crochet the next two together pull through two stop yarn over to the next stitch pull through two pull through all three okay then find your two skip stitches here find the first one come from the back to the front bring the yarn through front to back pull through two stop yarn over find the next one pull through two pull for all three to do your decrease okay so that's the end of our decreasing our twisted decreases what we're going to do now is we're just going to skip one stitch so that stitch has been worked into so we're going to skip the next stitch and just do one double crochet in the next stitch okay so just a normal double crochet in UK terminology these are trebles then we're going to find our one skip stitch here so it always looks like that one's empty but it can see the yarn stitch in it so it's been worked 
find that one skip stitch come from the back to the front and do a double crochet in there okay so that's just normal no decreases now and we're going to re repeat that basically until the last 12 stitches so we'll just do this all the way around to the last 12 so skip the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch just the one and a double crochet in your skip stitch working from the back to the front because it's easier okay. then skip the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the skip stitch okay so just repeat this pattern to the last 12 stitches last 12 skip one double crochet one double crochet in the skip stitch count where I need to stop so it's up to the last 12 so 2 4 6 8 10 12 so I just need to do two more lots before I stop and one more skip one one double crochet one double crochet in the previous skip stitch coming from the back to the front yep, not like that though okay so I've repeated that pattern of just doing one double or skip one then one double crochet then doing a double crochet in the previous skip stitch and get this nice ribbing effect it's really nice uh, up to the last 12 stitches so quite a few stitches and we're going to do decreases over this now you can do normal um, decreases just normal double crochet two together until you get to the end or we're going to twist them up so I'm going to skip two and do my next decrease over the next two so pull through two stop yarn over so the next stitch pull through two pull through all three so that's my first decrease now I'm going to decrease the previous two so find that first one, bring the yarn through, pull through two, stop the yarn over, push out that skipped stitch, come from the back to the front, grab the yarn, pull through two, pull for all three. Okay, and just repeat that to the end. So in the next two, now that stitch is worked into, so don't work into that one. Skip one, two, decrease the next two double crochet two together and double crochet two together over the previous two skip stitches like I say you can just do them in order rather than twisting them like this tidy up to you and then the last lot 
so that one's worked into skip one two should have two left so we'll crochet those two together double crochet the previous two together Shout that stitch pull through all three and then we're back to the beginning and we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch so that stitch has worked into okay that's a fake stitch tiny little chain one so our first proper stitch is here it's just to the right of this bulky bit you can slip stitch into there to join the round okay should look a little something like this okay uh, you should have a stitch count of 40 so it should have gone down to 40 now we're going to do a very similar round um, just to finish up start off with a little chain one and we're going to skip the first two stitches so we're going to skip this one we just slip stitched into and skip the next stitch and we're going to double crochet the next two together so go into the next stitch pull through two stop yarn over into the next stitch which is above the bulky bit pull through two pull through all three and then I'm going to double crochet the first two together. Now the first one is this one we slip stitched into. So this one's always a little bit fiddlier to get into. But like I said, you don't have to twist them like this. You can just double crochet them together. Two stitches together as normal. Just do it twice in order. It's fine. Okay, so you could double crochet those two together straight away. And double crochet the next two together straight away. And we are going to do that one more time. So that one's worked into because it's above the bulk. Skip the next two. Double crochet the next two together all the way over here. The next stitch. Pull through two, pull through all three. Then go back and double crochet the first skipped two together. Where is this next one? Here you are, above the bulk. Through two, pull through all three. Okay, so double crochet those two together. Now we're just going to go back to our pattern of skipping one, one double crochet. So that one's worked into, it's above the bulk. So skip the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Then one double crochet in that previous skipped stitch, which is here. So we're going back to this pattern now. Just repeat that, this pattern, all the way around to the last eight stitches. It's the last eight. Skip the next stitch, one double crochet. That's normal, so no decreases. One double crochet in the previous skip stitch. So repeat this until the last eight stitches. Or if you don't want to do the twisty thing, you can just work normal double crochets in order to the last eight stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to check how many stitches I've got left so I don't overdo it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just need to do it twice more. Follow my pattern twice more until I've got eight stitches left. Okay, and once more, skip one, one double crochet, one double crochet in the previous skip stitch. Okay, so now I've got eight stitches left, and I'm going to double crochet those together. I'm going to twist it up so like I said you can just double crochet the next two together double crochet the next two together repeat that to the end or you can follow this twisty pattern and skip the first decrease skip the first two stitches double crochet the next two together and 
then double crochet the previous skipped two together coming from the back it's so much easier Come over and the last one just in here can't catch it there we go double crochet those two together which leaves me with four stitches so skip the next two double crochet the last two together and then double crochet the skip two together so it's gone a bit strange there just going to do that again skip stitch ah. <laughs> it's fiddly even for me there we go so back at the beginning we just need to find find your first little bunchy bit and then the first stitch is just going to be to the right slip stitch into there to join the round and that's the end of our basic shoe pattern so you can cut your yarn your piece of now <laughs> there we go and uh, there we go there's our finished booty with a nice textured twisty pattern like so. if you prefer if you find this easier you can just work this pattern as normal but when you do your decreases you can just do normal decreases if you prefer so you can mix it up um, for different effects but now we're going to work on the bow so I'm going to hide all my tail ends and then I'll come back and show you how to make the bow I just changed my battery and the camera is really quite hot <laughs> it's very hot weather at the moment so uh, hopefully my fan in the background isn't too noisy on camera but I've just tied in all my tail ends and now I'm going to show you how to do the bow so I'm going to do the opposite colour so I'm going to do the cream, do the bow in cream and again we're going to do the twisty pattern but you can just do normal double crochets and I do half double crochets or double crochets I did double crochets so first thing to do though is a little slip knot and um, we're going to chain 20 to begin chain 20 so one two three four seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty okay so chain twenty and we are going to slip stitch so we're just going to bend our yarn over make sure the yarn you're working with is at the top bend your yarn over your your chains over find your first chain that you made put your hook into there it's that first chain and grab your yarn tail end that the way Grab your yarn, bring the yarn through that first chain and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And you get like a little ring of chains. And we're going to work the twisty pattern. Uh, if you prefer, you can do one double crochet in each stitch around and slip stitch to join. Or you can do the pattern. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to skip the first chain we just slip stitched into and do one double crochet in the next chain. So in UK terminology this is a treble so I'm going to do one double crochet in there and then I'm going to do a double crochet in the previously skipped chain okay. which is actually really fitty <laughs> okay double crochet in there following the same method working from the back it doesn't look like much at the moment but it will come together okay so then we're going to skip the next chain and do one double crochet in the next chain and then do one double crochet in the previously skipped chain working from the back but if this is really fiddly then just do one double crochet in each stitch around keeping a stitch count of 20 
Uh, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next chain and a double crochet in the skipped chain. Okay, next chain, skip the next chain, one double crochet. crochet in the skipped chain okay when you're back at the beginning find your first proper stitch so it's actually going to be this one here so because the second stitch is above the lumpy bit so your first stitch is down here slip stitch into there you should have a stitch count of 20 hopefully looks something like this or it may just be plain double crochets up to you do another row like that so we're going to chain one don't count that as a stitch I'm going to follow the same twisty pattern again so but you can just do one double crochet in each stitch around so I'm going to skip the first stitch which is slip stitch into do a one double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in that skipped stitch so it's a bit easier this time than chains and I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next one, double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the skip stitch. just repeat that back to the beginning and coming up to the last two one double crochet in the last stitch and double crochet in the skip stitch then slip stitch to join so it's just tucked here first stitch do a little slip stitch and that's the end of that round then what we're going to do is we're going to leave a bit of a tail to work the middle part so leave a bit of a tail just pull that through what we're going to do is this join here is going to be in the middle so flatten it down and make sure the end part is uh, in the middle I'm just going to neaten this off by getting a yarn needle just threading this through that last stitch okay and then making sure that's flat we're going to wind this around the middle so keep this other tail end out of the way because I'm going to use that at the end I'm just going to wrap this around the middle as neatly as you can okay nice and tight to about that much then taking your other tail end we're going to tie it tight this way tie a double knot to hold that in place nice and tight And again, and then we're going to use these tail ends to sew our little bow onto our shoe. So it's not as neat as I'd wanted it to be as this one. This one's a bit neater. But you can do a neater job than me when you haven't got a camera in front of you. <laughs> so we're going to get just a yarn needle. I'm going to take both ends. I'm going to sew this onto the front of our shoe. So we'll go through that stitch. And then the other tail end. Go through over. Turn it inside out. And then just knot this on the inside. Nice and tight. 
You may want to secure this even better if it's a bit loose. It's going to get these tail ends and hide these tail ends and hide them in the bow underneath. down the excess. Same for the other one. Okay, so you may want to secure it better than I have before giving it to a little one. But there we go, there is our finished little bow and our finished shoe and it can go with the other one. So these patterns are identical, you just make it twice and you've got a shoe for each little foot. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll put a written version on my website and I'll also put in the different changes if you want to make it more simple so you don't want to do all the twisty bits and uh, yeah it'll be available on happyberry.co.uk but do follow me on instagram to keep up to date with where i am and maybe why i'm not posting youtube videos and uh, my travels and all sorts of things and i'll see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys bye